One of Hollywood's rising stars is facing tough questions about his past. Nate Parker recently inked a multi-million dollar contract with a Hollywood studio. His movie, The Birth of a Nation, earned rave reviews and two awards at the Sundance Film Festival. But Vladimir Dutier of our streaming news network, CBSN, shows us why a sexual assault case from 17 years ago is bringing up new questions. Vlad, good morning. Good morning. Nate Parker reopened old wounds when he expressed sorrow over the death of a woman he was once accused of sexually assaulting. Parker was cleared of all wrongdoing and again said this week their encounter was consensual. But he admitted he should have used more wisdom as a teenager. Turn this way all the way to your left. Nate Parker is starring in The Birth of a Nation, a film he produced, directed, and developed with Gene Celestin. The two men were roommates and on the wrestling squad at Penn State University. In 1999, an 18-year-old woman accused them of raping her after a night out. Nate Parker and Gene Celestin testified the encounter was consensual. Parker was acquitted. Celestin was convicted, but it was overturned on appeal, and he was never retried. In a Facebook post Tuesday night, Nate Parker said he was devastated and filled with profound sorrow and just learned that the young woman ended her own life several years ago. Submit yourselves to your masters. Parker's film, The Birth of a Nation, about an 1831 slave rebellion, has been considered a contender for an Academy Award. Fox Searchlight, which paid more than $17 million to acquire the film set of Parker Wednesday, he was found innocent and cleared of all charges. We stand behind Nate and are proud to help bring this important and powerful story to the screen. We're in really unprecedented, unprecedented territory here where a star, producer, director, and writer, he's essentially the face of the movie, is facing very serious allegations. Variety's bureau chief, Ramin Satuda, says the next six months will be a challenge for Nate Parker. Can he sustain a story in these interviews and explain questions that people have about the case in the interviews in a way that doesn't alienate people from buying tickets to the movie? The accuser's family told CBS this morning, after all this time, these men are being held accountable for their actions and continued, while we cannot protect the victim from this media storm, we can do our best to protect her son.